Hello friends, so here we are again with another combined signal operation. So this is the uh, expression which involves uh, multiple individual signal operations but uh, the way I say it I think two individual signal operations are there here. So here again uh, as we have done with uh, other signal operations we pick one end and then from that end we move to the other side and then perform the individual signal operations as we see it. So first here the first signal operation is converting xt to xt plus 2 which is time shifting then xt plus 2 to xt by 2 plus 2 which is time scale this so this is the signal on which we have to do these operations so first we'll do the time shifting so here okay time shifting so here what we have to do x t plus 2 it means we have to the plus sign it indicates that the shifting will happen to the left left hand side by 2 units so this is the original signal xt here this will be the time shifted signal ok 1 this is 2 this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 so when we shift it by 2 units to the left this will be the thing ok from here ok and then from here then here like this this is the time shifted signal it will be slightly lower here ok slightly lower here this Okay, this. So this is the time shifted signal x t plus 2. Then we have to perform after the time shifting we have to perform time scaling. So for time scaling we know for time scaling we know that in time scaling the factor which is multiplied or divided by t that plays an important role so here 2 is divided by t so it means each and every point on the t axis it will get multiplied by the same factor it is the opposite if it is getting divided by t in the expression it will get multiplied by t in the uh, waveform axis time axis so here we'll multiply each point on the time axis with 2 so we'll get the time scale signal as this x t by 2 plus 2 this is t so here it will be 0 1 2 3 4 so again here it is 1 here it is 2 so it will get multiplied so here like this like this this is the signal okay it got multiplied each point with 2 so 0 into 2 it is 0 
वन इंटू टू इट इज टू एंड टू इंटू टू इट इज इक्वल टू फोर दिस इज टू दिस इज जीरो दिस इज इक्वल टू फोर सेम थिंग जीरो देन टू देन फोर ओके दैट इज टाइम स्केलिंग सो यू मल्टीप्लाई ईच ऑफ दीज पॉइंट्स विद इन विच द सिग्नल एग्जिस्ट by the same factor it is getting divided by the t gets divided by in the expression it is the opposite if it gets divided by the factor in the expression it will get multiplied in the waveform t axis that's the same thing here we have done okay this so this is the uh, combined signal operation here first time shifting shifting by to the left by 2 units to get x t plus 2 then time scaling xt by 2 plus 2 to this time shifted signal to get this final signal okay so here we have another combined signal operation okay this is the expression yt is equal to x minus t by 3 minus 3 this is the signal waveform so as you can see again in this uh, combined signal operation we can break it down into multiple individual signal operations so first uh, xt to x t minus 3 which is time shifting then x t minus 3 to x t by 3 minus 3 which is time scaling and then x t by 3 minus 3 to x minus t by 3 minus 3 which is time reversal or time inversion so we have to go through these individual signal operations separately we'll do that separately so that we understand them so first is time shifting the signal will do time shifting so we know that uh, whenever time shifting the first step so we know that whenever we perform any kind of shifting the minus sign it means that the shifting will happen to the right hand side and this number the numeric value it indicates the number of units by which the shifting will happen so here t minus 3 means right hand shift by 3 units so this signal will be shifted to the right by 3 units so we'll get the signal okay 3 6 9 well let's see this is 1 this is 2 so here it will be like this yes, okay this is at 9 okay it's at 9 this is the time shifted signal so we shifted this signal to the right by 3 units okay now we have to perform time scaling x t by 3 minus 3 so time scaling so we know that in time scaling x t by 3 minus 3 the factor which gets multiplied or divided with t that plays an important role so here in the expression 3 is getting divided by t it means that it will get multiplied with each value of t within which the signal 
this uh, signal is there, it will get multiplied by 3, opposite. If it is getting divided by t in the expression, that numeric value, the same numeric value will get multiplied in the time axis of the waveform. So here t by 3, 3 is getting divided. So here 3 would get multiplied with each of these t values. Nothing will change in the amplitude side. So the time scaled signal, it will look something like this. Each of these will get multiplied by 3, so 3 into 3, that is 9, 6 into 3, it will be 18, 9 into 3, it will be equal to 27. So 0, 9, 18, 27, this is the time. Then here nothing will change in the amplitude, same amplitude. So here it will be at 9 it will be 1 and then 18 it will be 2 and again at 27 it will be 1. This it is x t by 3 minus 3. This. This is the whole thing. This is the final time scaled signal. Next, we have another operation which is time reversal. Okay, time reversal xt by 3 to x minus t by 3 minus 3. So, for that, we have to perform time reversal, which is nothing but forming the mirror image of this signal, this signal around the time axis such as imagining a mirror which is placed along the y axis or the amplitude axis and forming the mirror image about the negative time axis. So time reversal will do. So time reversal or time inversion. So for that what we have to do. x minus t by 3 minus 3 same 1 this is 2 minus 9 minus 18 minus 27 okay so here it is this here it will be 2 here again it will be this. this. So it is just the mirror image of this signal about the time axis along the negative time axis and the amplitude it stays the same. Okay, This is the final time reverse signal. Time reverse signal. So here this original signal it passed through these three individual signal operations to get the final result which is this okay